Hey guys, it is the end of July. It's the middle of summer and that means that the, the month is ending and it's time to talk about my absolute favorites this month. All right, it has been a busy month in the Madeira household, but I have still found time to come up with some awesome young living and wellness favorites to share with you. So I just wanna share with you some of the things that I absolutely love that were like standout products. Summer young living and summer just stuff that I just had to share with you guys. I had a chance earlier this month to share with you my five year journal. I got this idea off of Pinterest. Um, I did a whole video on it, so I will link it down below if you wanna check it out. But I, I love this. This is a five-year journal I made. It's from Erin Condren. Erin Condren has notebooks that you can personalize to use however you want. In fact, I have like three sitting in front of me right now. <laughs> this is um, my five-year journal. So I personalized it. I picked out this co color scheme and then I put Elizabeth's five-year journal. And then um, inside, I actually wrote questions for every single day for the whole year and spots for me to answer them. So like, who did, your, who did you hug today? Describe today in one word. How are you? Did you do more talking or listening today? And then it has a spot for my answer for the next five years. So this has been a lot of fun. Um, I love to journal. I love to write down my thoughts. I love to write down goals and all kinds of stuff. But this just gave me a chance to reflect this day. And I think this journal is gonna be even more exciting next year when I get to fill in my second year answers and kind of get a chance to look back. Another non-oily favorite, that's what I like to call them if they're not essential oils, has been um, Lara bars. I always feel funny when I say it because it's, it's not Laura, it's Lara with an L-A-R-A. -A. Lara bars. I've been looking for something a little bit different than a cliff bar because those ne aren't necessarily my favorite, but they're my favorite one because I have tried almost every one they have at my grocery store is like a peanut butter one. I don't know if it was peanut butter chocolate or peanut butter cookie. I think it was peanut butter cookie. But the reason why I love these is the ingredients are super simple. When I posted a couple pictures on Instagram, you guys, a lot of you had told me, you can make these at home. I know, I totally could make them at home. In fact, I probably should. I should try to make them at home. But the reason why I love these is because our life has been so busy this past month and it's been um, easy to find something. These have been easy to grab when I'm needing something quick on the go to run out the door and not feel like I have to get drive through because I don't want anything from drive through. There's nothing you can get from drive through that's easy to eat on the go where I live and that's healthy and good for you. So let's look at this one. This one is cashew cookie and I will tell you the ingredients. Are you ready? Cashews and dates. <laughs> now there are some kinds that I don't love and I think they're the ones that are more like lemon or blueberry. I didn't enjoy the fruitier ones. So I like more of the ones that are nut flavored. So I'm liking the Lara bars. Those have been good. Okay, now let's talk about some oil stuff. I shared with you guys five ways to drink Ningxia Red that I saw on Young Living's blog. Uh, I can't take credit for any of the recipes except for just trying them and sharing my experience. Of course, I did a video, so you can check that one out. But they all called for one ounce of Ningxia Red, and out of all of them, the one I have made and I have gone back to since the video was done and I have enjoyed, surprisingly, is two drops of cinnamon bark and one drop of Okatea. So this combination, and it's called the Atomic Fireball, gives you such a kick and like a rush and you just feel so good and invigorated after. So this combo has been surprising. I think from that video, the most surprising thing was knowing that I enjoyed cinnamon in my Ningxia. I never would have put cinnamon in my Ningxia if I hadn't um, tried all those recipes with you. So that has been super good. Um, another oily favorite has been Peace and Calming Two. <laughs> I shared with you guys, I think last week, um, the difference between Peace and Calming and Peace and Calming 2 and Valor and Valor 2. Now, Peace and Calming 2, I've used about half the bottle in about a month. This has stayed in my son's room to be his nighttime diffusing oil. Since Peace and Calming went out of stock, we have tried Cedarwood, Lavender, Stress Away. The kids enjoy the Stress Away the most, um, but nothing is as good as Peace and Calming, I have to say. Um, I just, when Peace and Calming 2 came out, I thought, well, we'll see. I mean, nothing can be as great as Peace and Calming. At least I just thought it wouldn't. Um, lavender was like the opposite effect for the kids, and I thought, oh, no, that's not going to work. Tried Peace and Calming 2. 
just as good as the original for us. So we'll have to see when Peace and Calming comes back in stock, what happens, or maybe we'll do two drops of one and two drops of another. I haven't been applying it on them at all. We've just been putting it in the diffuser. I feel like our lives have been so busy this month. It's just been go, go, go. We haven't even put on oils on them before bed. We've just been diffusing it because we just put them in and put them into bed. I guess we probably should though. Anyways, this has been a awesome go-to oil. So those of you that were asking me after that video aired, do we like this as much? Is it working as much? I should have said so in the video, but we do. It's really, really great. It's a good oil. So thank you, Young Living, for making a peace and calming too for us. All right, I have a couple more things. I found last week, I don't know if you can tell in my voice at all, <clears throat> we've just been going so much. I found I really needed to support my immune system and uh, it, it was in desperate need to be supported. So I just thought I need to keep myself well and uh, just continue to promote wellness for my body. And what I did is I actually got this last month, Inner Defense. I had never tried it before. And those of you that saw my unboxing saw me freak out basically when I, you know, I very, you know, calmly freaked out because it was on camera. <laughs> um, let me see if I can show you on how big these, these things are. This is just not okay. <laughs> it's more than I want to have in like a capsule. It's just, whoa, mama. So here you go. That's how, what it looks. It smells amazing. It smells so invigorating. It smells like everything you want your diffuser to smell like when you want to support your immune system. Um, I love it. I could just sit here, but I felt like it was time to support my immune system and I decided to take one and then the rest of the day and I um, could taste oregano. That was not a fun experience for me. I don't enjoy tasting oregano. I think what I might do next time I really want to support my immune system is take it right before bed so maybe it can work through my system and I don't have to taste oregano. It was just odd. You take a pill and then like, you can, or a capsule and you could taste it. So um, I did this. I really liked doing this though. Um, I felt very supported the next day. <laughs> and um, do you like my compliancy jargon? I hope you do. All right, the other, the other thing that I loved um, and I still wanna keep on hand all the time are my Thieves lozenges. I love these. I've tried the Thieves mints and I've tried the lozenges and I just enjoy these more. Of course, the kids don't like them at all. They really like the Thieves mints. So I don't know, maybe it's a grown up taste. It's a little spicy. Um, but I just feel very clear. I want to share with you my favorite YouTuber this month, and it's Sherry Griffin from Overthrow Martha. She has a YouTube channel, and she's very sweet. We've uh, reached out to each other and chatted back and forth and uh, becoming friends, and it's kind of nice to meet and chat with other YouTubers that have the same um, desires you for health and wellness for everybody around us and everyone we know. And uh, you can tell from her videos that she's passionate about health and wellness and about teaching. And so uh, make sure you go check out her channel. I will link it down below. Uh, one of her latest videos is how to reuse essential oil bottles, which is kind of cool. Um, she shows just really helpful, neat tips and tricks. And so it's worth checking out. So head over to her channel. Make sure you let her know that I sent you her way. All right, so that's it for my favorites this month. If you have an absolute amazing favorite you think I need to check out, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna join my expanding Young Living team, make sure you click the link down below. Love to get you started and um, signed up and part of our private Facebook groups and our online classes and all that and get you, get you going so we can walk this journey with you. All right, guys, I will catch you next time. Bye.